We are about to see what every pupil in the school has wanted since the challenge began. I'm standing right out here, and this is where Mr. Fee is just about to do the ice bucket challenge. But before we show you the challenge, I went about the school to find out what people thought. Now, I'm going to find out what people think about Mr. Fee doing the ice bucket challenge. So, um, Ms. Farley, you're a deputy rector here. What do you think about Mr. Fee getting involved in the ice bucket challenge? I think it's about time. He was challenged ages ago. I'm quite concerned that he's been taking so long to step up to the mark, so I'm looking forward to him facing his fears and uh, doing his bit for charity. Do you think he'll scream? Oh, probably. In fact, definitely. Would you maybe slap a little bit as well. Who do you think he's going to nominate? Um, I don't know, maybe Mrs. Fee? So I'm here with Mr. Fee himself, who's actually going to be doing the Ice Bucket Challenge. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So, uh, are you confident that you're going to do well when you do the Ice Bucket Challenge? I will do extremely well. I won't scream, I'll yell, I'll be, I'll be fine. Are you willing to tell us who you'll nominate? Or is no, that yeah, I'm still thinking about it. Right, okay. Well, thank you for letting us interview you, and good luck. Now the stage is set, and everything's set up, and there's only one more thing left to do. And that is to fill up the bucket. So it's going to be a joint nomination, um, who's it going to be? We would like to nominate 1,350 pupils at St Mungo's High School, Mr Mackay and Mr Murphy. We would like to nominate the entire office and janitorial staff. So you're looking forward to it? Ready to go? Yes, it's uh, my normal uh, bath every night, a nice ice cold bath. <laughs> Mr. Fee is just on the ice bucket challenge. How did you find it? It was cold and wet. So, did you? Would you recommend it to everyone that's going to do it? Yeah, it's a good laugh, and if we can raise a wee bit more money uh, for a charity, then it'll be well worth it. If you have any words of advice to everyone that's going to do it, what would you say? Don't wear glasses or t-shirts that become see-through once uh, it's been done and just smile through it. Well thank you and uh, thank you. well done for thank you. Thank you.